you big sexy. Uh, working on the toes, baby. Toes it up. Spooky dookie. Yeah, spooky in the duker. Hello, future robot butlers. For 7 White 7, I'm Baron Saturday, and we are back at it again. We're working on getting you your tuz next, right? Oh, yeah, you're going to yes. need the 9500. And you should have all of the necessary oh, yeah. upgrades for that thing. What's it under? Heavy, right? No, highway. Or no. Not available in Eurasia. We'll have to move. Yo, we got to move. We got to move. We're going to see what kind of upgrades we got for this and it doesn't have a quite the same upgrades as the other 9500 uh, used so it's like not quite as good so i be a little bit more of a challenge you'll do great i you I, come i was gonna say if you do if you decide you want to come with me um that's an option but we also thought to check and see, didn't we, whether it would be worth you starting on the other mission? Um, I think they're they're one after the other. Okay. So it, it, they do it that so that visually it looks like the white's on top because that one's supposed to be up or north. Oh, how many liters does that thing I remember have? when we were... 240? I got 240. Nice. Oh, These are the same truck. Oh, God. Burp, burp. Yeah. Okay, wh which one are you which point are you going to? Um I was going to go to the west okay. or well it's, it's labeled north but um to the west of here and if you wanted to head to the south yeah. one that you got last time. Yeah, that's what I was. And then um then we can meet up and try to get the west one. Um obviously if we can get the the towers along the way may as well. Wow, this thing is pushing hey, through and nothing but rear-wheel drive through the mud. That's awesome. Yeah, I haven't hit the mud yet myself. All on the road, fortunately, but I know it's coming. Oh, we actually now have officially two monsters. Part of me wants to sell the Fleet Star, but I also don't want to sell the Fleet Star because I want to have the full international fleet. Yeah, May as well keep it. Um, we're going to be able to get rank and uh, money pretty easy with the Tuz to where you may as well keep trucks you want to keep. Even if you're only like kind of decided, you may as well just keep it. Hedge your bets. Because there's a good chance that it'll be just, you know, totally worth having. We did set a limit of, I think, 10, 10 vehicles. I'll have to figure that out. Live yeah. within that limit. Luckily, there aren't 10 international vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll most likely be more of a problem for me. Like, if you want to, at some point, to have them set up differently without having to, like, change everything, you know, hypothetically, then you'd run into it. But for me, I'll just have to pick, pick my top 10, basically. Yeah. Oh, I'm starting to feel the all-terrains. Am I going yeah. the right way? Yeah, same. I've already started to kind of feel that a little bit. Fortunately, these first two points aren't that difficult. It's that southwest one that can be a little troublesome. Working on the toes, baby. Toes it up. I'm jealous of your 9500. It's so sexy. that um a truck you have what's that called again it's the paystar 5070 paystar that thing looks pretty gnarly it's, i like the look of it it's pretty monstrous it's uh it's a it's definitely a good vehicle it uh I just realized it, i was thinking to m myself oh go ahead sorry it gets mud tires not big ones granted but it gets mud tires and it gets um it can do two mediums at once. Two medium nice. logs at like once. The that I really liked. Hell yeah. That's awesome. What you were saying, me lord. <clears throat> oh, um... In my head, I was thinking we would just go, you know, from this place to the southwest, but I just realized we probably won't have enough fuel for that. Because that's a long trip down there, even if... 
Just go straight from the garage. Maybe not, though. We'll see, I guess. Worst case scenario, if we even meet up and give one of us fuel, and that might still save time. From as opposed to driving all the way again. Well, and now that we know, so what we're I think. Doing. <laughs> right. Yeah. True. We, we we've done it once already. Um, I think this is actually less hippy, which makes sense. I don't have the bigger tires or the lift. I'm not struggling as bad with being so top heavy. I mean, it's it's still a little tippy. I have to be careful and all that, but maybe I'm just um, driving a little better than last time because I felt really tippy last time, and not that I'm not now. I'm just less by comparison. Yeah. I, I, in my head, at least. You know, it may all be imagined. I'm just really trying to do just the rear-wheel drive. Yeah, I've had to put mine in all-wheel drive for a good portion of where I've gone, but... Remember, you can... So I haven't had to use diff lock more than once. The rear wheel and uh, and high gear will move that thing even through some pretty decent mud, so... Yeah, I just don't have high gear on this yet. I don't think we locked the old uh, oh, gearbox. Yeah. I only have low. I don't even have low plus or minus on this thing yet. Oh. Well, don't you tip, you bitch. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't you get bogged in the mud and tip? <laughs> like getting, getting a little bit like sloppy on the right side over here and concerning me. Oh God! For anyone watching the stream right now, when this damn beeping starts going off, I apologize. I, I can't turn it off. It's the most annoying thing in the world. When you get a chance, uh, unfortunately, if you're watching this later, on the map, oh, go ahead. and see if I'm going the right way. I, my number keeps going down, but I'm not sure. Yeah, let me check. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, you're definitely going the right way. You just got a ways to go still. Yeah. Um, once you once you go past the um, it's the sawmill, and just keep heading south. And you'll need to go east when the road curves hard west. Like when, you know, the direction you're going, as soon as it starts to turn hard right and, it, and you're like past the lake or whatever, you've gone too far because you need to go uh, east into the woods at that point. You'll probably recognize it when you get down there because, like I said, fortunately, like I went pretty much off memory on this one because um, I'd done it before. I, I only did that south one once. But I've done this one a few times now, and and then we can meet up for... I've actually still got a decent amount of fuel. I'll probably go ahead and try to make it to that south one. Yeah, I'll just head that way. Yeah, you'll, you'll be even closer. You'll actually probably beat me from where you're coming from. Oh, you said when it All turns right. hard. I got right. mine. Yeah, when the road... Uh, let me look and see. I don't think you're quite there yet. Oh, okay. was, yeah, you're not there yet. You still got to be heading south. I'm vaguely yeah. remembering. Once the road's... Right. Once the road starts heading west and keeps heading west, then... Then that's when you cut off toward the east into the woods. But all right, I just got mine. Let me see if I can get out of here without rolling. I remember this is a little bit of a saucy spot up here out of here if I want to go I want to go to the right it's gonna be a little bit safer uh, oh okay yeah I remember now nice oh don't you flip you little son of a bitch you giant son of a bitch don't be afraid to take it slow oh I've definitely been going very slow it's like I just eased down off of a like a rock and it just like like a damn slinky springing back and forth. Come on, you big sexy. Uh, did I go the wrong way? Let me look and see. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to keep going south. You, you, you went west on a small dirt road, so turn right around and go back to the main road and go right, and then just keep going south. You're close. You're not too far away. 
but you would yeah you turn right instead so you won't turn you won't go west which is the way you just headed you won't go west at all you'll go all the way to the end when the road starts to head west and you'll go east instead into the to the the boonies out into the trees all right so i did all this spooky ass driving for nothing oh no Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even think to double check. I, no, I looked at the map to see where I needed to head. Oh no. Oh no. no. Fortunately, I got my point already, so if I flip, I can just reset to the garage and try again. But I'm trying to make it, because I got enough gas. If I can make it back to the main road, it's a fairly straight shot to the next one. Oh, no, I flipped. Oh, it's kind of on its side, but not enough for it to stall the engine. Alright, whatever. Whatever. I wasn't it wouldn't have saved me that much time. I would have been right here and I started here instead. So it, it didn't really slow me down much to have gone back to the garage and honestly in hindsight it would have been quicker for me just to recover. I was trying to No no to do it all, oh, all God, go. fuck. Uh oh did you flip? Yep. Yeah. All right. There we go again. So the pathway that you're on will take us pretty close-ish. So I think I'll come with you to the south one in case we need help. And then we'll, we can go onward to the other one. And I kind of want to see that south one again. I've, I've only ever done that one once. But that way we hedge our bets. Yeah. And it won't take a whole lot longer because I'm... I would otherwise just be barely heading toward the other one anyway. It won't add very much time at all just to come with you. And then we'll go together to the other one. And then we'll have to recover and outfit these for delivery. And I think I think we'll do a lot better with these just towing little trailers. Uh, one of us actually won't even have to tow a trailer. One of us can get the cargo container and the service parts on a trailer and the other one can head right for the beams. With just a just the truck itself, and I think it'll go better than it went with that <laughs> Fleet Star. The thing's frame is so long underneath that damn fifth wheel trailer. That thing had oh man, I wish you had the high gear on it because you can. I mean, you can run it rear wheel drive and high gear through a lot, a lot of things you wouldn't think you could. As long as you kind of come up to it with enough speed. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's fucking rock. All right, and I've learned not to even fuck with this bridge right here. You learned the hard way? Yep. Yeah, that thing is sketch as fuck. I don't, I don't think I would even bother taking the tuz over that thing. Not even because it would flip the tuz. I mean, it would flip almost anything else, most likely. But even where the tuz wouldn't flip, it would just be a flippy, flippy bastard. Yeah, it flipped my load star. Like, I assume you were supposed to drive your the tire or whatever over yeah see you've got bigger left, tires um, than me you made team. it through there better than me yeah that's that's so sketchy yeah it'd be fun to do it just for the challenge but you know not when we're the fleet star made it over not when it would make us reach that this thing i don't think it would not with how Too heavy. narrow it's top heavy on. you didn't paint it white I don't think I painted any of my view. No, I think I did the Fleet Star and the Scout. But any of the new ones that we've got recently, I haven't painted them at all yet. I'll probably get around to Ooh, doing that, that sometime soon, though. Oh, man. I think I ran into what scared you, too. Yeah. It's a little spooky spooky. Spooky dookie. Yeah, spooky and the duker. Spooker duker duker. I'm gonna ook you in the duker. Ooh. Ook, ook me in the duker. Yes. I will ook your duker. Oh, what was that race of monkeys in WoW even called? What was their name? Uh, oh, uh, fuck. I don't remember. It was. It literally, it was like on the. Like, it was almost out of my. Like, from my brain, out of my mouth, and then my brain was like, nah, no, we're gonna forget. Uh, we met in Arcade, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good old Arcade Unchained. That's part of the reason I'm really excited for um, Ashes of Creation, is because 
it was a guy who was also a fan of all the a huge amount of potential that game had and was also very sad that it didn't live up to that potential but the guy making Ash to the Creation was like fuck it I'm tired of games letting me down slapped 40 million dollars down and said who wants to help me make the game that I want to play that you know I'm tired of waiting for other people to do it I'm going to do it myself that's how that project started yeah dude literally put his money where his mouth is 40 million of it just to start with he's put more since I believe too but I'm hoping it turns out well I feel like it has a really high potential too if it fails it won't be because it's monetized and like fucked over on terms in terms of it's like gameplay purposely made to feel shitty unless you pay money like that that's like his biggest complaint with um the potential that arc age had that just got shit all over yeah and so you know it, it definitely won't fail because of that if, if it ends up either not being fun or, or maybe it's takes too long to develop but even that's not necessarily as big a problem as people once thought because star citizen i've, I've technically just purely by the year I, I backed star citizen in 2013 I've, I've been back in that game for about a decade <laughs> and uh this last year was its biggest year and they made a ton of progress so even if ash just kind of falls into that same like path of taking a long time to actually be developed and release as long as they keep making noticeable progress and they're open and like very transparent development and um reporting on the game and its progress is something that a lot of people really like all right and you said go left here we'll star citizen and ashes um oh yeah yep, yep we go left here it's screaming now that me. we're beeping hi i don't wish it was possible to turn it off it's so annoying it's like i'll just watch the numbers doesn't need to make noise yeah oh now I'm going the wrong way again. Yeah, it's up further north. Oh, I was headed mostly east. America, fuck you. Mm, yeah. I, I missed, like, the way cars were designed before wind tunnels turned everything into a jelly bean fart cloud. Ugh. You get stuck on something? Yeah. I don't know if a tree was up under me or... I just don't have the good oh. points. But, yep, I'm out. Well, that's the, it's about the first time that one struggled and the other one didn't. And it could, even, it could have even been that I went through with an easier time because fresh tracks and then you went through the comparatively more run down ones because of following me. Yeah. You might have just been a little bit deeper in the mud, too. This gets bouncy as shit over here, so. Yeah, I imagine this one yeah. will, too. Oh, let's see. Okay, yep. We still go. Play. But, yeah, I just from driving both of these, I can tell you that the smaller tires on this definitely help it be more stable but it's narrower wheels like how close they are together i also have fatter wheels than you but it's like it's narrower uh wheels are wheelbase or whatever yeah so like it's wheelbase side to side is narrower than that mm -hmm. thing and it definitely rocks it back and forth there there's been a couple close calls yeah, I where see that. if i didn't if i wasn't used to driving the 9500 there's no i would have flipped the fuck out of this thing dang <laughs> well, i'm gonna get in the first person i'm assuming this is the way you went but i don't see you oh i got a little ahead of you you're you're on track you're good <laughs> oh mine sounds like <laughs> <laughs> Mine's like a wannabe train and yours is a blaster. Oh man, I miss the I like looking at the ninety five hundred. It is a beautiful truck. Did you just crash? I heard a <laughs> Yeah, I hit my suspension. Oh dang. 
Funny how you can hear it. Yeah. Say what? That 9500 is a gorgeous truck. Indeed. We get sloppy right there. There's a big old hidden fucking mound in the road there. It blends right in. Yeah. I am glad we got to that fuel station. Yeah, we would have been cutting it real close. We might have had to have sent one on with the fuel. Yeah. From both. All right, let me uh, get stabilized here and let me check the map. Um, I want to stop right where it's kind of shitty though and cause you trouble. Uh, once I get onto this main road, I think we're on the right track, but I'm just going to check real quick. Not far away at all. We have to... Oh, dang it. I think I took us. we got to go back and, and go through that little town area. Instead of, we went to the east of it, we should have gone west of it. Fortunately, we didn't go very far before I realized it, but... I mean, I think we could make it through here potentially, but it'd be off-road. It'd be cut through trees and maybe bar, uh, bogged marshes and shit. So in terms of the road path back this way, it should be a better bet. Get boggy here where we've gone through it a few times now. Though. This little ghost town. The engine in that thing is so... I love the sound. Go ahead. Is so beast, it has to like, it has to fucking make ridiculous noises when it has to, it's forced right. to drop any power. It's like, whoa, oh, really? Right. What the fuck? Why are you doing that? Drive me, bitch. I love the sound my old, um, had a Kenworth T800 with a cat, uh, C15 in it. I am approximately 99%. Oh, yeah, there's the beeping. Yep, I hear it. So, normally you'd cut west right here, but um, I think I came up to, I think this is where I got through without as much trouble with the trees being as dense. I might be wrong, though. Might be. I may have to back out of here. Kind of hard to tell without one into it. Maybe maybe to the left here. I, think I see where you went. I'm gonna go Yeah, at this point person. whoever can find it, but you know, yeah, definitely uh take different paths if we have to. Oh, these little door windows that this international has is fucking convenient. I can like sort of see how close things are. I think I've got it. Yeah I am but so if not close to it. I, I can't find it, then I'll back and help you if you end up needing it. You might be ahead of me, I think. What am I stuck? Yeah, I see you up there finally. I didn't see you before, but I see you now. This fucking geological beeping butt pump fucking noise. I know, it's the worst. Alright, I got it, so it'll stop. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's recover. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing we both went for it, though, because that right there at the end could have been our, our downfall. Yeah. All right, so um, I'm good either way. Uh, one of us takes the trailer, and the other one goes and gets the metal beams. Doesn't matter to me. Whichever you'd rather do, I'll do the other. I'll take a trailer this time. Okay. I only I'll need four the slots. Right? Uh, yep, yeah, you need four. One for the container and one for each. Or uh, a full, like a a one by two for the container and then one by one for each of the server spare part. No, no, but I grab them straight um, from around the corner, right? Yeah, yeah, you you don't have very far to go before you're loaded and then you just have the rest of the trip to make. I'm going to get this crane because so. I know we're going to need it. I don't know if you grab a crane or not, but... I did grab a crane, yes. Oh, nice, okay, good. Yeah, I got a crane as well because I'm sure we'll... Use, we'll need it oh uh, i need you to accept the mission so i can track it oh yeah good call Let's see looking beyond the horizon yep Wait. i am very happy with our yeah this will be fun you'll get to now. i know they're cool i'm really like that there's a lot of good trucks in this game makes it fun fleet stars are great 
I kind of saying. I have nothing I'm, wrong, I'm, bad to say about the Fleet Star. This is just better. Right. Well, it makes sense. Like we were talking about um, when we were meandering around on your save last night or the other night, um, we were, uh, you know, it's you literally get it for free. Right off the bat. The first truck that's given to you for free. So it kind of makes sense that it's... Um, but the 9500 you like, also get for free. Flawless. That's a good point. But the difference is, is that thing does not become good until you make it good. Yeah, I remember when I first got the 9500 until we got some of the upgrades, it was a bit rough. Yeah, it is not a good truck until you get that all-wheel drive. And even then, the motor upgrade is almost mandatory. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I got that yet for this. It definitely helps. I can't remember that little floppy shitstorm I just went through. Excuse me? Floppy shitstorm? Like... Is that what you just said? <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, you know, just it's like a floppy feces engulfed dildo. You know, just... <laughs> You're being gross again. <laughs> I'm, I'm I can't just, help it. I'm sensing... Just my default. I'm sensing a pattern. <laughs> well, you know, it's like I said. I said it once, I'll say it again. What am I not? <laughs> <laughs> That's three videos of you being a gross boy. A default mode. Disgusting. Oh, you're nasty. Don't you be saying that to me. No, you. No, you. Flopping all over the place. Hitting, hitting bumps in the road. I'm, I'm like, all, all of my wheels were off the ground at one point. Oh, just the bridge is all fucked up. But I, I then I noticed that there's like a little side road thing that I think it's trying to show you like, you gotta go this way instead. And that was a floppy little bastard though. I'm worried about coming back up loaded. Fortunately, the metal beams aren't very tall. They're they're heavy. They don't add a ton of height. Hoping I'll still be all right. And what you doing? I'm just being very tired. I only got four hours of sleep last night. No, 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 I fell. I'm on my way to you, so depending on where you're at in the pathway, I might not be too far away. Ugh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I just got around this corner, and I'll be to you. Okay, be careful on this bridge. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Yeah, I've been taking this slow because now that I'm loaded, it's not a super tall load, fortunately. These beams aren't very high, but they are heavy, so yeah, a lot more momentum to be thrown around when I get tossed back and forth because of the rain. I've just been inching along, but I'll, I'll meet up with you here shortly. And I know exactly what bridge you're talking about because I didn't go over it. When I yeah. came down for these beams, I, I went hard left. You can probably see my tracks through the mud and the trees and shit. I don't know. Yep. Exactly where you were. Is I thought I was going over in the exact same spot. In the exact same fashion as what just happened to you. Yeah. For that very reason, because it is just... Uh-oh. Fucking gear shifting right at the wrong time. Fucked me. I kind of wish there was a way to do manual. I know that was a big complaint about when they went from um, spin tires to mud runner and snow runner is that you don't have control over when it shifts directly. You do in the form of just putting in a manual gear. Yeah. But yeah, you would never shift in a position like in a spot like that in a real truck. You would just just ride it in the gear you're in. I'm gonna take this nice and slow. Oh. Yeah. I was taking it good and slow. And then I'm going to get... Yeah, it's hard with the trailer, though, because you slide. You just... Driving forward, you slide. you like, you got to go at a weird angle on this thing, and it's fucking tough. Yeah. I, I'm i genuinely surprised I didn't flip when I was in your position. I could have sworn that I was going to. Readjust here. Get as flat as I can be. Fuck your sign. Okay. I'm actually even going to activate my anchor for a little more stability here. Uh, 
Nice. Hell yeah. Alright, I'll keep a hold of you until you let go. Nice. The little one stayed on. That'll make yeah. it a lot easier. That is the one thing I like about that trailer in particular. Now, hopefully this is strong enough. It will be because when I flipped in the in the Fleet Star, I had that same yellow crane and I had to put that container back on the flatbed. Unless I got lucky, okay. uh, it was it was capable. Pretty pretty beefy crane, all things considered. Yeah, for its size. Right. Nice. Keep get a hold of me. Okay. Alright, we are good. I will follow you up. Okay. okay. It's uh really floppy around here too, so Yeah, I know. Especially with that very tall crane. Yep, just nope. like that. Oh. Literally I, sp <laughs> I spoke too soon. I tried I, to uh, I didn't it didn't stall my engine. No, you're good. If you just pull up next to me, it didn't stall my engine. In fact, stay like that so I don't flip you over on accident. Let me let me see. Okay, let me put it in auto and reverse. No, don't. Oh, oh. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, that didn't work. I was trying to get it to flip the front end around. So if you grab, go ahead and stay at the angle you're at. Use your front to grab my front left. Yeah. You should be able to flip me over. And if we're lucky, the load will stay in enough to... Um, just reattach, but if not, I got my crane. But yeah, it's just, it's just this whole little spot is just shitty. There you go. If you have to even detach your trailer, that might not be a bad idea. And then maybe turn toward me, and then back up, because as we've and discuss strong cast reverse, gear, reverse gear right oh no okay. yeah floppy <laughs> yep that's not going to be good when... go ahead and like the actual crane not just anchors go ahead and put that fucker out to your right on the ground maybe nice nice hell yeah alright break you're good, let's see. Gonna pack cargo, start engine. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Alright, oh, okay. Alright. You pack the cargo. Taking a tree with me. That's fine. This will be our Christmas tree. I think that tree has you, bruh. Yeah. See if I can use this little one to help me out a little bit. Okay, All right. come on, you bitch, don't roll. Take her off, easy. Easy does it. I just don't fall the other way. Yeah. Right. What I'm going to do is grab this tree preemptively. And wait until I am solid and not bouncing. And then... This is what I had to do with that fifth little trailer when I was pulling it, is I just said fuck the road and I just kind of went out this way. I was trying to get up that way. Um, this time as well, but it did not work. <laughs> Stay here in case you need my help. Looks like you got it though. I just got one of them ground logs that are basically trees. Yeah, as strong as these trucks are, man, they are scary sometimes in the fucking... in the tip. Yep. And I just yep. have, like... Big ol' scary tips. Barely enough power to get. I'm gonna stay right... I'm gonna stay right here, so hopefully... So lasso to that uh, tree I was last to two just a minute ago. Good job, right there. And then I'll stay here in case you kind of flip. You'll you can brace against me, like. 
I would keep that lasso. Go ahead and attach your back left of your truck to that tree, and it will give you slack as you go. And then you can tighten it in the in the event that you start to flip. I can't put it on the rear of my truck. Oh, uh, maybe the center left then. That should help because you'll get a little slack as you go just a bit slacked up a little bit oh i just need better tires Ooh. digging you a little bit let me get ahead since you're too far over to the left for me to brace against if you need it uh, let me if you need a lasso to me to pull this direction once you get up there nice that's a good anchor there you got Ooh boy my camera keeps getting zoomed in let me um let me back right there Maybe that should help you get up this little sketch spot. I just need better tires. Once you're stable and once you're stable and comfortable enough, let me know and I'll try to get in front of you so I can help pull you. I'm trying to help you brace in case you flip. Keep rolling. Against me a little bit, but there you go. All right, go ahead and grab to me if you need, and I'll help pull up the hill here. All right. Oh. Got her. All right, I should be good. Bit of a catch fest. So this is another little floppy bitch of a spot, yeah, potentially. I remember. So what I do is come right up next to it, and then I'm going to hook my ass end here in case I need it, like that. You may be fine with the trailer, because the trailer kind of anchors you a little bit. But that hole right there is where you might need it when a rear right flops in that French. Yeah. Bit of a sketch fest. When I came up with that long trailer and with the pay star or the load star that couldn't, or no, fleet star. I said them all wrong. Yeah, um, they're all, they that's why I hate the names. <laughs> I had to just come straight up through, I went right between this gap to my right, that little tree and those two big trees on the right. I went right through that, just straight up. Cause that's just the angle that it was pushing me at and i was like all right we're shooting the gap went right up through those and just tore this whole fence down yeah this whole section is well, it's that... like just tilted enough to be spooky yep yep i think we definitely did objectively better that time around than the first try because that was that was a lot of trial and error yeah. I got really lucky that when I did this on my very first game, my first playthrough, I had the Azov, which was, you know, one of those DLC trucks. It's just, that thing's so overpowered. It's such a good heavy truck. All, All right. right, gateway opened. I wonder, there's got to be another gateway because that those two south ones were not the right one. It, one of them was very close. Um... Let me look it up and see if I can find... Oh, you said... Oh, hold on. Let me get the roof rack on this. Nice. I'm a fire truck, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's perfect. Because if, if in the event you get stuck, this thing can pull us out, and then we got fuel and service parts. Ah, oh, yeah. Going on an expedition. You'll be faster than me, so feel free to get around me any chance you get. Because I'll catch up and maybe pass you in the muck. I'll just grab your butt. 
You know what? I can probably just stay in high gear and hang out with you. Right. Oh yeah, I could put it in high with this too. It's actually slower than auto. No. Go auto. Mine was mine was too slow too. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. What map is that mission you do in this thing on? Um what what maps? Oh oh um it's white. Let me look. Something white um, something. Well, um, missed him. Global map. Um I'll have to see it. No. White Valley. So you go to Northport in Alaska and then you go to White Valley. Oh yeah, the load star will handle whatever that mission is. Yeah. I'm not even Um I just realized though I was looking before for I need to see there's there's a third a third story. Oh yeah, it's it's at the top left. So we just head west. And we just literally just go west from here all the way to the Tuz, we go west. Because it's Uh, that's the third one. So I checked the other two, and those were obviously not the right ones, because one of them was way too far south, and the other one wasn't quite in the same location, but it was close. But a way further trip. Whereas this way, literally just head west the whole time, then we head west all the way across the quarry, and then we head west all the way to the Tez. We're going out west. Yeah, check this shit out. Watch here. Um, wind all the way up to me, and then just put your shit in neutral. And oh, we yeah. won't even go that much slower. I already am. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Drop it out. Oh, the winch anchor point looks all weird on my screen. I think it's... I didn't hit that going fast enough. On the enough. road again. Find my Tuz when it's on the road again. I can't wait to sell that thing and have money. Yeah, you're going to have so much money. I'm going to have an uh, unstoppable vehicle. And you're going to have a shit ton of money from selling it. 70000 um, I'll make on that. I'm interested when we get to the point where we're doing that mission. I was gonna, uh, I assume that's what you meant, but that that low star, especially with the the good tires or whatever, should have no trouble with. It'll, it'll maybe be a little bit slower. That's kind of the key is that it's, you got to be fast enough to to do it within the time limit to get gold. But I I think that we'll have a pretty good time of it because I think on the thing is also just kind of where I can utilize my speed it'll it should about even out right yeah there's a there's a good amount of road so it's pretty much road all between the three points you have to get and then um, you go off roading a short ways off the road to get to the point and they're all marked and like clearly like like you don't have to do any searching like with the seismic vibrating modules and especially once you've done it once, you'll know exactly what to do, and yeah, it's easy after that. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good point. This is just consistent. Yeah. Whereas that will be able to basically race between points. Is that damn sketch ass bridge? This one's even worse than that other one. Be here to anchor too if you need. Nice. Good fuck you, Bridge. I'm going through the ditch. <laughs> Dude, if we had the two other dairy longhorns with us, we would be a proper army convoy. Right? That'll be a fun truck to get at some point too, because it's such a long truck. Yeah. Uh, and same with the P12. I'm not sure if that one's obtained or only purchasable or... No, I, I think we can go out and grab the P12. Well. Nice. That'll be fun to get a hold of as well. I 
gonna go ahead and grab this uh, tower while we're close by. And that should uncover the um could uncover the exit for us anyway. Do you need a push? Come on, baby, you just need the traction. Right. I have climbed up far steeper in this thing. I don't know why it's struggling so bad. It's weird. Like straight up through the snow steeper than that. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even struggle with maybe, it at maybe all. Maybe I had to... Yeah, I, I think part of it was that it shifted. So I switched it out of auto, but then I put it into low negative, and it struggled until I put it into regular low or even low high. Yeah. Which is like opposite of how it actually works. So that was kind of weird, but... Yeah, I think we've picked the perfect combination of scout vehicles because anywhere that right. thing can't go, I should be able to go. Am I in your way? No, you're good. Um, checking the map here. Yep. Now we just go back down and follow the road, hit the exit. So yeah, now you're in my way. Fucker. In fact, I think it would be easier for us yeah, to we just go forward, right? Go around this tower. This garbage turning radius, though. No, I feel like you're going. But yeah, this way. this doesn't have. Yeah, I might be. I was just going back down the way we went. You you take that way, and we'll see. I was just gonna go back to the same direction we did, but there might be an alternate path that way you're going. But yeah, this I think I think it was a matter of the gears because I I have climbed that that picture I took you was like a sixty degree incline, like it was so fucking steep and I just crawled up it but I think I started and maintained the right gear in that process yeah. whereas this time I was climbing it shifted right on that weird hill and then I put it in the wrong low gear for the purpose of what I was trying to accomplish I see that little trailer just bouncing down the hill yeah the lodestar does not even care that that thing exists Right. That's um, that's what that big trailer looks like following the Tuz to through the through that mission I was talking about. Yeah. These type of places are where it can be a problem for the Tuz if if two big rocks aren't wide enough apart, this thing just gets pinched between them. Yeah. And if there's not quite the right amount of slope for it to climb then, yeah, I can't just go over it, which has been what I've done in the past. Oh, there's a little tractor back there. Is that, like, is that a usable vehicle? I don't know. Go check it out. Yeah, I was going to say, let me check the little thing right next to it. It might be for a mission, but even if I just grab it for now or whatever and check it out later. What, I'll, what I might do to catch up, because you're a bit ahead in rank, what I might do... Uh, once we get to my Tuz, is just run that mission a few times to get my rank and money up. Especially where I'll be behind on money because you'll be selling your Tuz. And... So it's, um, it's, a, it's a contest. You're a good driver, true, but you're exceptional. Yes, the perfect meter are five points. Reach them all in sequence. The faster you do it, the higher the reward. 180 rank and 3,100 money for doing it in gold. Uh, gold rank. By comparison, that other mission that takes like three, four minutes at most. I mean, you got to do it in under four to get the gold rank. It's a thousand rep, seven thousand money. That's like five times the rep of that mission and double the money. Pretty good. I think it's all road from here, so ask me if you want. Whoop. Or I'll bounce right back into your way. <laughs> oh, God. My bad. You're good. Thing is so slow to adjust its turning angle, too. Yeah, get a Dairy Longhorn and a Pacific P12, and we're fucking... I don't think the P12 is a military yeah. vehicle, but... Yeah, no, I think it's just a old, like, railway company. Yeah. It's a prime mover. Yep. 
All right, it's pretty much just straight west from this starting point, but I don't have it necessarily unlocked, so we're just going to have to just follow the road and check our path as we go, because obviously none of it's unlocked. All year. Doing this in the scout last time was like so nerve wracking because oh I know because it's so tippy. There's there's some sketchy spots. If I didn't have that tall snorkel, I would I would have been hard stopped at a place where we have to go through the water. But these things are. This will actually potentially still struggle through that depth because it doesn't have a great height on its water air intake. But it is taller just by default, so maybe not. It might be alright. Nah, you'll be fine. Yeah, worst case scenario, then um, with your extra height. You'll make it through and can help me through. So this is where I barely made it through with the scout. So I just, I forgot about that. We might run into a problem here, but let's see. Eh. If I can do it, you can do it in that thing. Yeah, I give no fucks. <laughs> yeah, the load star is a fucking monster. <laughs> I love it. I'm excited to deck out my 750 and have all these good vehicle combinations we can roll with. Yeah. We can just do fun things, and I'm like, missions they are just inadequately equipped to do. Not even that, but like, they're not intended to do, but can thoroughly do them. Yeah. From, from what you were explaining based on what they can haul because you you can put a bed on that and obviously pull like scout trailers for either fuel and then the 750 can put on a full bed and haul a, a big heavy trailer you can do a single slot flat bed and a trailer what is this nice this is that one that was to tow out of here oh. um off-road or as well accept it while we're here so we can come back to do it later except that was that one I was hoping you could hop to when I was coming through around the scout oh grabbing the tank with the steering wheel yeah awesome person in this thing is gnarly. Travel. Travel. Because I'm Negorske. Negorske. Almost sounds like a bad word. Negorsk. Zimnegorsk. Zimnegorsk. Yeah. I think I was telling you that in that Stranger Things episode, I'm pretty sure that the like one of the names for something in that show is the Zimnagorg or something what like that. Like very similar. Shit. What is this? What is happening here? Is this a garage? Did I just did I just completely go past the garage when I came through on the scout? Could have saved myself a lot of stress. What is my trailer doing? Is it stuck on something? It like weird doesn't or something? exist. Weird? Maybe uh, attach, re unattach, and reattach to it? Yeah. Uh, seem to fix whatever the problem is. Is that a garage? No, I don't think so. I was going to go in and further and check, but I wanted to come make sure you were no, good. Don't. But I was just thinking, I don't think there's a garage in, in the quarry or in the gorsk, but maybe this is. I think this is just a load location, though. Yeah, I think you just uh, picked stuff up okay. here. Yeah. I'll accept this task for you. Thank you. Repair me, Daddy. Do you need repairs? No, I just mean <laughs> on this ramp thing here. Burp, burp. 
Oh, so this thing can take a crane, right? And if you nice. extend the crane all the way back, you can fucking do wheelies. That's awesome. <laughs> That's the cool thing about having like a like a vehicle that's small and short but has a truck motor and truck uh, gearbox right <laughs> like it's a Yay! this is just a tiny fleet star I think I was telling you uh, when I would bobtail places I was very capable of going really fast wait I think we go right here yep we go right there Um, like, it was so much torque and power, because it's designed to obviously haul roughly 65 to 70,000 pounds of weight. And without that 65, 70,000 pounds, this is that sketch spot where I went through to the right there. See that tunnel of trees on the right side? Yeah. So we're going to see, we're going to see how this handles. That's quite deep. It hasn't given me the water level warning yet, but oh, now it is giving it to me. Come on, baby, you can do it. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, this thing is just straight up so much taller. I'm with me. That was definitely the most threatening obstacle. For the scout, I, I finagled it through with those trees, that tre tree tunnel I went through. This is where I almost got stuck. I had to attach that tree to the right and like swing wide where it's like not as deep in the mud over there. Meanwhile, I just I'll just the right spider here. crawl on the side here. <laughs> I know, right? I love oh no, the this crappy monster. turning radius. Oh. Sorry, my crappy turning radius. No, you're good. You're good. I just had to adjust a little bit, but it like throws itself backward when you put it in reverse. Yeah. So much torque. Yeah, this this whole section was a little sketchy. It was very slow. Yeah, I remember watching you uh, on the map. Yeah, right here I had to. I got about this far over and was able to winch up to the right, and I had to attach my ass end to that tree to the left and back completely, like straight perpendicular to the road, and then come down on that like um, flatter spot. It was it was sketch because it gets it's like deceptively deep mud right there. Yeah. This, this wasn't too bad because it was at least downhill. But yeah, if I didn't have that roof rack of extra fuel, I wouldn't have made it. Because by the time I got through all of this, it was so deep and sketchy. that it was just... Man, it was... It was frightening. You like my extendo fucko winch? I know, I love it. Oh no, might pull you over on accident. Oh, you're right, good. You go. Yeah, I'll just stay here. I can't, yeah, okay, sweet. So I didn't bother with it on the scout, but I'll grab this thing right here to to the left of us real quick. It's um it's a mission to pull that truck out. We don't have to do it right now, obviously, but um I'll accept the mission real quick. I got to get over to it real fast. Grab that while we're on our way real fast. It's, it's right here. Need to give no fucks about terrain or trees. Except the big ones. Those do defeat the Tuz. Or really any truck, but... I wonder if the tractor could just, like, rip trees out. Uh -huh. But with the Azov, I pulled this out straight up that hill. Yeah, I bet. It was a beast. I think you're supposed to pull it out like the other way. <laughs> you come accept it up here. So it makes you like have to get to this point effectively. And then go back down the other way to be able to. What is happening? You're on rocks, <laughs> so you have no grip. <laughs> I went flying.
that was funny. The back two tires were the only thing semi on the ground. Wow, I got deep there for a second. Tuzzletov. The Tuzzletov. Stupid. I know. Just crawls through anything. Most things don't even slow it down, really. Oh, wait, I think we might be close. Let's see. Yeah, we're close. I think soon we will cut. Oh, yep, right here. This is where I cut through on the scout. But yeah, most things don't even really slow it down. Let me attach to you. Like quick winch to you. Oh, there you go, nice. We are coming to save you, brother Taz. These rocks are throwing me around. I was trying to aim left and it started pushing me right, so I went to aim right and it threw me to the left. Like, <laughs> so it was like trying to make me go into that tree. Yeah, this was such a bouncy bastard coming through here on the scout. Like, every little rock. I bet. Sliding all over the place. Ah. Thing is defeated by rocks throwing it left and right with its garbage turning radius. Definitely capable in almost any terrain, but its challenge comes in the form of very difficult maneuvering, very difficult handling. Yeah. Ah, my baby. Oh, yeah. Hell yo yo. Where are you, you going? Oh, you took the long way around. I went the wrong way. You got away <laughs> from me. I was getting in a fight with a tree. Oh no, my bad. I'm still going the wrong way because I'm stupid. Ah. Well, Ugh. all we gotta do now is uh, recover and then you know. do it. Because okay, now you should be able to recover yours. Round lands, crowd. Now I gotta go global map. The garage. What? Oh, you sexy. Oh beast. no. What happened? Oh, that's Quarry. Oh, God. Oh, I thought I lost my Taz. Oh, that would have been the worst. Yeah, I need to get the... I don't even have to fine-tune Wisconsin, North America, and Alaska. Fine-tune the advanced special. Yeah. Oh, are you looking for the... What I'll have to do is... For the Ford? Um, but no, I was... Uh, putting the roof rack and the autonomous winch on the tuz and everything and i would also put the gearbox it's the last thing but i'll have to i'll just i'll probably putter around at some point to find yeah that um, um yeah um you retain that Come meet me outside in your, uh, in the 9500, but paint it the way you want. I have to get a picture, me lord. A picture. 
Or should we do it in the uh, the Lodestar with the, uh, the F750? Oh, yeah. I mean, we can. Damn, that Acteon would sell for 70... Or no, it's worth 74900 but it'd sell for 37 That That little tiny little truck's a handy little bastard. Um, I'm good either way. I just it dawned on me that we could um. Yeah, bring the bring the seven fifty out. Wow. Yeah, that I thing love is, it. That's a scout. That thing is monstrous. But all right, thank all you, right. thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like the video, like it. If we made you smile, subscribe. And if we made you laugh, share it with a friend. And we will see you in the next episode.